I'm basically like nocturnal. Yeah, but I think that's normal though for guys your age. I don't know if that makes me feel better or worse. What? Why would that make you feel worse? Because my stress is mine. <laughs> it, it makes me feel anonymous to think that I'm going through stress only because every other guy my age is going through it. My name is Andrew Paulson and I am the director producer of Melvin Goes to Dinner. I'm always up all night. It's like everyone I know has trouble sleeping these days. Uh, Melvin Goes to Dinner is simply a comedy. It's about four somewhat strangers uh, having kind of a coincidence dinner and basically being brutally honest with each other and opening up and having a life-changing experience over the course of one evening. My name's Stephen Gothard and I play Joey. Wait, let me tell this story. Joey is what could come across as being an arrogant young man. Um, however, I don't find, I don't see him arrogant at all. I think he's very opinionated. I think he's very uh, strong in his definitions of opinions and how he feels about things. But I don't see that as being arrogant. I think that comes from just the way this man thinks. <laughs> if I were to write a book on religion, it'd be called There's No Possible Way There's a God. <laughs> if you wrote that book, you would get killed. No. You think? You'd get killed if you wrote a book called There's No Possible Way There's a Jesus. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Misha Riley, and I'm playing Sarah. I can basically orgasm instantly. Sarah is... 36 years old and she's a woman who has been around the block. She's very hip, she's cool, she's urban, she's modern, and she's kind of at a turning point in her life. You know, I used to feel so lucky, I was having all these experiences, I was never ready to settle down, but you know, it's weird when you think you know yourself and suddenly your priorities change. Hi, my name's Nicole Anthony, and I play Alex. Oh, I totally believe in ghosts. Alex is dynamic, uh, maybe a little neurotic. Um, people, I think, take her for granted, uh, but she's uh, very truthful and honest with how she feels about things and not afraid to express that. Some of my ex-boyfriends are my closest friends. I do business with them. We belong to the same gym. We play cards. Some still like me, some I still like them. That never goes away entirely. I don't see why that's wrong. I'm Derek Wall and I'm playing Melvin. Well, do you guys ever watch Feldmer the Psychic? Melvin is a, uh, an emotionally confused young man in his uh, late 20s and he's looking for some you know, insight and I guess some guidance as to how to best manage his current uh, lack of relationship skills. Is this the girl I saw you with at the gym? Oh, the, the, the one that's kind of tall. Yes. No, no, that, that's another weird situation. You, you, you actually don't know her at all. Melvin Goes to Dinner is a very um, simple, but um, I, I think a very intriguing show. It's a quick beat, high paced. Thinking person's play. It's a lot of fun and dynamic, just like young people are. It gets a little naughty at times. It's short, it's to the point. It's got meaning you didn't think it would have when you started viewing it. It's theater for people who normally wouldn't come see theater. It's, it's a drama about how people actually relate to each other. Without, you know, fanfare, it becomes more about, you know, the characters and more about the people involved in the show it's itself. It's a great cast, it's a great script, it's sharp, sharp dialogue. It has a great amount of humor in it. It's more subtle. It is a theater experience that is, that is not common in Thunder Bay. Just come see it. Um, we're having a lot of fun up on stage. It's going to be a fantastic show. It's not going to be one you want to miss this summer. I find there's a gap in Thunder Bay for dramatic theater, and hopefully this show is the way we fill it. Um, can I have another glass of wine? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll have another one too, actually, yeah. Uh, look, why don't you just bring us another bottle? Then that'll be it. <laughs>